Fitness. Subscribe to Vincent Valentine EX Turk channel. Guys, this is your king of the night, Vince. My arch Vince of chaos. This is the king of the night, Vince. I'm EX Turk with another Final Fantasy Coliseum battle, where you take two characters from different backstories and and, and and same powers and make them face each other in the ring for Final Fantasy Death Battle. And the two contendents will be the two biggest scumbags, besides Arden, because we already did Arden. The two biggest scumbags of Final Fantasy universe lore ever. To start off, we're going to be starting off with Vane, the Prime Minister of Delmasca. This, um, Delmasca, pretty much. The true villain behind everything. The one who set up everything with, uh, the one who set up every single thing with Gabranth and... And Bond's crew, pretty much, or the Sky Pirates is pretty much what they're called. You know, everything to do with them has been done by Vayne and set up every event. Now, Vayne's powers, pretty much, he can use magic like any other Final Fantasy villain. Except this guy can punch through dimensions as you've seen, as you've seen in the boss fight. So he can punch through pretty solid dimensions, you know. So... You know, that's something you don't want to actually mess with. He can punch through dimensions just as a human being. So he's at the highest level of magic and physical ability. He's more than just a prime minister. This dude is physically powerful. He's not just only politically powerful. He's also physically powerful. I'd say one of the strongest characters in Final Fantasy XII ever. You know, for good reasons. You know, and this guy can also transform as well. Which he can harness, you know, abilities that you can never match up to. Which is only unique to him in his transformed state, you know, as the Undying. Which in that form, his attack and magic ability increases tenfold. Pretty much making it a hard boss to beat. You know, he's pretty much the traditional final boss material you know even more than Arden is I gotta say it you know now let's get to the other content the other continue is Seymour Guado um maester you know maester of Ma maester of Yevin you know maester of Yevin Seymour Guado the newest maester of that you know, world. Of course, he can has he has high level magic, uh, for the fact that he's a maester, and and he controls Amina, and Amina is Amina or Amina is actually one of the most powerful summons and more powerful um, aeons in the game. So of course you're gonna have to have high level magic in order to use it. So and you, and as when you fight him with the when you fight Sin with Seymour in your party, he can use, already use the highest level of magic, already in the beginning of the game, so Seymour Guado is very powerful, you know, and just his human form, and just his thunder, and just, and his thunder can actually wipe you out, in one strike, that's how powerful Seymour Guado's thunder magic is, so, we got that, you know, in the we got that as well, as also Seymour could transform a few times as well, you know, and also, he could also become an Aeon himself, that's how powerful Seymour Guado is, you know, so let's get ready to start the battle, now when it comes to terms of magic, I'd have to say they're both equal, because Vayne, Salivar, um, could actually, I think it's Solivar, I can't, I mean, I, if I'm getting it wrong, please let me know in the comments, you know, I'm I'm bad at, you know, pronouncing names, but Vayne can actually punch through dimensions, so he has to have at least some kind of high ability in magic, because, I mean, he's pretty much the only Final Fantasy character besides Chaos that can actually, and, ben, and, and Chaos and Benavelza that can punch through dimensions. And let's keep in mind, this is Bane in human form. 
This is when he does not harness the power, the deep power he has. So, of course, they're, and Seymour Waddles are yet the highest level of magic, considering most maesters are high level mages. So, I'd have to say both Seymour and, and Seymour and Vane were actually, it'd be a draw when it comes to magic ability. When it comes to physical prowess, I'd have to say that because Seymour focuses more on magic, you know, more on magic and summoning Amina. I'd have to say that Vane has, uh, Vane is pretty much, Vane is pretty much stronger when it comes to physical feats, meaning physical combat, you know, it would have to go to Vane on the fact that Vane does fight, you know, and Vane being, even though he's a prime minister, he fights just like a high level knight, you know, if you combine Sephiroth's sword skills with, um, with um, the high level mage magic, pretty much, that'd be pretty much Vayne. But, you know, nonetheless, I'd have to say Vayne is stronger when it comes to physical feats. When it comes to speed, I don't, um, when it comes to speed, I'd have to go with, I would have to go with, I don't know, it'd be a draw. You know, because they're not, they're characters that don't meant to go fast, unless they're in transformation state. Those two are only their most powerfulest state. They're, those two are their only most powerful states in trans, uh, transformation. Pretty much without transformation, they're just pretty much normal gods that can use high level abilities. So, I'd have to say the speed would have to be equal. You know, Seymour Guado's speed with Bane's speed. I'd have to say it's equal, man. I mean, I'd have to say it's equal. You know, I'd have to say it's equal. You know. So, you know, when it comes to transformation states, it depends. Seymour has at least a couple more transformation states than Vayne does. Vayne only transforms once. And then once you beat him in that form, you pretty much defeat Vayne. You know. You pretty much defeat Vayne. So it's really hard to choose a power gauge for it, but, you know, and Vayne, if he could push through dimensions in human form, imagine what he could do in those forms, but at, at the same time, Seymour gets just as strong as, as Braska's final Aeon, Jackson, which I call him Jackson because he's Jack transformed into Sin. He could get as, Seymour could get as powerful as that when he's in his last final form, which is a Mount Gagazette when you fight him. So, if anything, I would have to get the battle to, oh, this is going to be really hard to choose. And this is going to be a controversial results. I'd have to give it to, I'm sorry, I have to give it a draw. Because they can outdo each other. Now, if Seymour would take, a, you know... It's take, you know, take uh, Bane seriously, summon Amina, and if he able, is able to beat Amina, you know, transform right away before Bane is able to transform and take him out real quick. And Bane could win if he just went in his transformation state from the get-go, so they would outdo each other. So, I'd have to say this is another draw, you know, this is another draw. And I actually had to go, now for me to do research, I actually had to go watch the whole, since I haven't got that far in Final Fantasy XII, I actually had to go watch the whole fight on YouTube. And took notes of each attacks and everything. But I think this, the reason why I said it would be a draw, it would be a draw. It just would. Because one can outdo each other. So may the crystal be with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share. And support the Final Fantasy Death Battle by just like and subscribe, share stuff. And may the crystal be with you. Yo, Percocet, 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 Rep the set, gotta rep the set. Chase a chick, never chase a bitch.